Carl Zakarian here with NetFocus Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to reset the Yaling phone admin password when it's lost or simply not working, regardless of a factory default reset procedure. Here is what you might see when you try to reset your phone to factory defaults. After a factory resetting your phone, if you attempt to get into the advanced menu, you will get an incorrect password despite entering admin password all in lowercase. To work around this issue, we will need to reset it using a HTTP server and a configuration file. To proceed, we need to download HFS HTTP file server by going to regetto.com forward slash HFS. Once on that page, scroll down to the install section and click follow instructions on this page. On the installation heading page, click on the GitHub link which will take us to the download page. Under the Assets section, you will see download links for different operating systems. In our case, we will click on HFS for Windows. After downloading the zip file, we will unzip the program on our desktop by right-clicking and selecting Extract All. After unzipping the file, you should see a folder called HFS Windows. Open the folder. We're going to right-click Select New, Text Document. We're going to open up the text document. We're going to paste in our code. Now that the code has been pasted in, we will go ahead and save it as a CFG file. Go to File, Save As, change the Save As type to All Files. For the name, we're going to type in 1.CFG. Click the Save button. We can now go ahead and close out the notepad. We should see the CFG file with the CFG file type. We can also right click over the new text document and go ahead and delete that. Now we can go ahead and right click over HFS, select run as administrator. You should see a dialog box load up in the background that looks like this. You want to just take down the IP address of your HFS HTTP server. In our case, it's 192.168.0.32. We can now add the configuration file we created earlier into our HFS server. We can do that by navigating to the shared file section on the left, selecting that. Then we'll click on the add button, select from disk. Let's put a checkbox next to 1.cfg, select. Click Save, and that's all there is to it. We should see the 1.cfg file in the home directory. Now that the configurations are done on the HFS server, we can move forward and set up the Yaling side of things. We need to first create a key event by holding down any empty key line number. In our case, we held down key line number 1 for about 3 seconds. You will now be presented with this screen. From here, you want to use the left or right arrow buttons on your yay link until you see the type change to key event. For the key type, you will select zero touch. Once these settings are complete, select the save button. For our case, we will now press the key line number one. Immediately following that, you will see a message update now. Select OK before the timer runs to zero. On the network screen, you will see the IP address mode set to IPv4 and WAN type set to DHCP. Select the Next button. On the Auto Provision screen, you will want to use the number keys to type out the HTTP, and for the colon and forward slash, you can use the star key. Make sure to use your HFS server IP and the one CFG file you created earlier. Once this is completed, we can initiate the password provisioning by selecting the OK button. Once the password has been reset, you will see Update Finished on your screen. Select the OK button. Now we can try to access the Advanced menu by selecting it. We will be presented with a password dialog. We will enter Admin in lowercase and select OK. If everything was successful, you should now have access to the Advanced Settings options. All right, this brings us to the end of this demonstration. I want to thank you for watching this video. Take care. See you on the next one.